lot. Squish them. There are more reports of the spotted lantern fly in Rhode Island now. And local farms are feeling the impact of the invasive pest, and they're taking action to keep them away. Molly Levine reports from Portsmouth. They are a huge agricultural pest. The spotted lanternfly, a sap feeding plant hopper from China, currently spreading throughout the mid Atlantic. The insect feeds on fruit, ornamental, and hardwood trees, but prefers the invasive tree of heaven. I've seen a big explosion across the state with um, amounts of spotted lanternfly, same areas, but just larger population sizes. DEM first found a population in the three corner border of Lincoln, Smithfield, and North Providence in 2022, and a separate population in Providence that same year. In 2023, populations popped up in Warwick, Cumberland, Pawtucket, and Johnston. And this year, they're adding Cranston and Central Falls to the list. DEM is especially concerned about finding the insect in places near busy transportation hubs like TF Green Airport. We're mostly concerned about them hitching a ride from one of these commerce areas where they are low risk to a place where they are more high risk. This is what a spotted lanternfly looks like. And you might think, oh, what a beautiful moth, right? Wrong. It's actually a deadly insect, not to humans or pets, but to agriculture. So it's not a bug you want anywhere near your property. And as you can imagine, for farmers like those at Greenvale Vineyards, these 76 acres are their livelihood. So it's a nightmare. Quite frankly, if you're farming, it's always something. I spent the day with Nancy Parker Wilson touring the vineyard. When I asked her to show me where she had cut down Tree of Heaven three years ago, she realized it was back and needed to be cut again, as it's the main tree the spotted lanternflies feed on. So we spent Friday morning together, too, getting rid of it on the property. We survive on our grapes. You know, we do other things like have jazz on Saturdays and weddings, but uh, if you lose your fruit, you lose your product. It's not a risk Nancy is willing to take, and she encourages other farmers to take action too. If you're in the farming world, these things do happen, so you have to be ready to cope with it. DEM says they get nearly 100 reports a day of spotted lantern flies and they can't keep up. If you see one, basically the general message is step on it. The more we get now, the less eggs will be laid. Reporting in Portsmouth, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News.